Say, feed me, please! In the wall! Hey, farm fam! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. You guys, today we are going to be feeding all of my 40 plus pets. We are right around 40, I think. We will count as we go. Well, you guys should actually count as we go. And let me know in the comments down below. We don't have as many chickens as we have in the past, so we are about just at 40. So we're gonna be feeding them all today and you guys are gonna come along with us. I actually haven't done one of these videos in a relatively long time. I know you guys love seeing them. I've been seeing in the comments a lot lately that you guys want me to do this. So that's what we're doing today because we've had a lot of new additions. And then I think a couple different things that we don't have anymore since I've done one of these last. I know that we haven't had the goats when we did this, obviously, because we just got them. The three little pigs, and um, I don't think we've had Junie since I've done one of these. And also, we no longer have our foster dog Lucy and her puppies, so that's something that will also be new in this feeding routine. Basically, all the animals that we have now are completely ours. None of them are looking for homes anymore because we don't have any fosters or anything like that. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see how crazy this routine is, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, every chance for my post notification shout out. And you guys, make sure if you guys want to see more behind the scenes of my life and of this video, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. It's just at Stephanie Murado. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and feed all my pets. You ready to eat, buddy? As you guys know, I just did my intro in the barn, so I want to just take you along because this is a little bit different from all the other times that you guys have seen me feed the horses. You guys have seen me feed all the horses together, but since we have a couple different things going on in our barn, I just want to show you that really quick because these are the animals that we're going to first start feeding. So this is typically how our routine goes nowadays when we feed all of our pets. So I have in the barn with me Trigger because he's in um, night turnout, so he's in the stall during the day as well as Cash, Cash and our pasture mates. So he's in the stall as well because he stays in during the day. And then also Dinky now is in her stall, well, a stall during the day. She has some summer sores, so she stays in the stall during the day to get out of the bugs as much as possible. And she's also pasture mates with Trigger and Cash. So she's in the stall during the day and then she is out on pasture during the night. She's being really goofy right now. What are you doing? Say feed me! <laughs> Say feed me, please! I know, Dinky. She's super funny um, ever since she's been in the stall. So she's just in the stall as well. And then we have the goats here, as you guys have seen. And then why our whole routine is different now with the horses not having enough stalls, let's say, for the horses, is because the pigs are in this stall. So that's why we have to switch up the routine and have some horses out, some horses in. And this is just basically how it goes with horses sharing stalls for now until the pigs leave. The two pigs are sleeping. And then the little black pig, he's just waking up. Hello, pigs. So I'm in the feed and tack room, and even though we're only feeding the two horses and the donkey right now because the other horses are out, I'm just gonna go ahead and I get all of the horses feed together, and of course, dinky. So that's what we're gonna start with. So on my first bin here, I'm going to start with our Purina Senior. This is what we feed all of our horses, except Blaze, but he is going to be transferring over to this. Right now, he's actually on a Neutrina feed, but we figured we'll switch him all to this, just because he's such an easy keeper too. Even though it's Senior feed, he'll just go with the same feed that everyone gets. We really like Purina, and we see really good results in the Senior feed, so we're just gonna keep all of our horses on the Senior feed. So, that's what we're doing. So starting off right here, this is about how much I give all my horses, a little bit give or take. So this is um, above the shelf on the scoop, so a little bit over a half a scoop. Almost all my horses get about just this same amount. Sometimes I'll give June a little bit more, just because I'm still trying to put weight on her. Um, and then also Cash, because he's the horse that I ride mostly. But then Trigger, Louie, and Blaze, they pretty much get a half scoop because all three of them hold weight really well right now. Now that that's done, now this is the Trina feed. So this is also what I feed Dinky. So this is the amount that I give Blaze. It's just a half a scoop. And then Dinky, I'll just put it in here. She gets about a quarter of a scoop. And she gets this twice a day. 
So the horses also get everything twice a day. So what I'm showing you, we're doing our night feeding right now. They also get in the morning feedings. So now for Dinky's summer sores, she gets this Dex. This is what also we give Trigger because he's had such bad allergies, but he gets this in the morning like I was saying. We just take our syringe, and this is kept in our refrigerator in the tack room here. And I just put it in the bottle, flip it upside down, and we just bring it to the two mark. And then we just drizzle it into her feed. So I'm not really huge on supplements, so we don't add a bunch of stuff, but I do love to add our Aquinity. This is pretty much the only supplement that we have given throughout our horse's feeding routine that we've been really consistent about. Um, we really like this product. It works really well. So I just go ahead and I give all the horses just a scoop of this. In the beginning, we only gave the two horses that we were riding the most, which was Trigger and Cash, but overall, we love this stuff, so all the horses get this. So now the only other thing that I'm giving right now is just Biomade, and I just give this to June and Cash, and I just add this to their feet. It's just once a day, and this is just to help their mane and tail grow, and I think it does really well, so this is why I'm adding it to them. Both of those two horses are the only two horses that I really need their mane and tail to grow, so that's why I add this. I'm gonna go ahead and shake. All of them are just so that the Aquinity and then in for Cash and June, the Biomade gets dispersed. I want to make sure they get the good stuff. And last but not least, I'm just going to add a couple treats. I know you guys always like to watch my little push button treat container. It's so fun. So I just grab a handful of treats and we just disperse them. That was a fun one. We need some more. That was a scoop for four horses. I have five horses. Okay, great. And that's what it looks like for the horses. The last feed that I'm gonna get ready for now until we start feeding all the animals is the goat food. So we just feed them this do more. This is from the other owner, but we are switching them to the Purina goat food. We're doing that in a slow transition. So right now, this is what they're on. So I just have this red solo cup and we do a full cup for both of the goats like this. And then in my Aquinity jug, which is not Aquinity, um, I just have loose minerals for them. This is just the ADM brand. We got it in a 50 pound bag and it's just easier for us to do this. So I just put some on the top here and we do this in their feedings for their loose minerals. I literally just shake this all the way to when I get to them so that it ends up being dispersed throughout the feed. All right, let's go and get to feeding. I can hear you. Are you hungry? Okay, so I feed my goats first because they're new. All right, watch out. Hi, Willie. Hi, Minnie. Oh my gosh. Come on, let me in. Good goat. And then now while I'm over here, I'm just gonna fill up their water really quickly. Are you hungry, Dinky? You're literally yelling at me. You've got to be hungry. What's your neck doing up there for? All right, Miss Dinky. Get you some food. Here you go, girl. Next up is Cat. His goodies, the boy. Just gotta make sure he finds all the right things. Probably going for the treats first. Is that good? You gotta move everything around. And last but not least, for now, is Trigger. Hi, buddy. Good boy. I always dump over their buckets because you never know what you'll find in here, whether it's shaving, horse manure, anything. All right, there you go, buddy, you some treats. Now while Dinky, Trigger, and Cash are eating, so they take a little bit of time. We don't feed them hay in their stalls right now at night feeding. We go ahead and we're gonna clean the stalls. Before that, 
We are gonna feed our little mini pig. This is their little pig bin with the little pig on it. So the pigs just eat nature's match pig feed. All of our pigs at the farm are eating the same exact feed. And I just give them like a heaping half scoop because there's three of them. We cut up some apples for them and I'll give half of them to the little mini pigs and then the other half to the other pigs, Mr. Pig and Stewie. So this is what the mini pigs will get. And then they also get their do more skin and coat supplement. So they just get a scoop like this. And I try to move the apples out of the way. Shake it up and it's time to feed our baby pigs. So I just feed them on the floor because any bowl that we give them, they're too small still to like get their bodies in. And it's just easier for them to eat on the floor. And it's clean, it's the stall mattress. So we just leave that there for them to eat. Hey little pig. Do you guys see the little black pig? His hair is going back and he's looking really good. Far skin cocos. They haven't gotten much bigger, but they are probably just food pot belly little mini pigs. Typical lazy little pig sleeping on the job. So my chickens are free range, so they basically grub on things all throughout the farm all day. But we also let them free range with their feeder, and we just fill it with a Dumore 60% layer crumble. So they have that 24-7, but also during feeding time, I love to give them all their little treats. So here's some cracked corn that they get. This is what it looks like, so I'll give them some of this. Then I just give them this blend of mealworms and beetles. Basically, I just get everything that's on clearance at Tractor Supply, as you guys can see, clearance. Clarence. <laughs> so I'll give them some of these ones. These are mealworms and the beetles, like I was saying. That sounds like a band. The mealworms and the beetles. And then last but not least, I just give them some of this. This is just like a fly larvae. So we just put some of this in here. A medley. Whoa, that was a lot. They're gonna love me. Okay. Mix it all up. And the chickens are most likely waiting outside the barn for me because this is routine. We've got a little bit of a crowd here, but we'll get a bigger one. Hi girls, where's the rest of you guys? Here they come, there's one. So I'll just give them this like this to bond with my chicken. I don't know if we can see you guys, but there's one and there's one. They wanna come over here. Come on girl! There we go. My naked Nick chicken is making a run for it. Watch her down the fence line, you guys. Here she comes. Come on, girl. <laughs> She's running so fast. Come on, chicken. Hey, chicken, 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 chicken. Welcome to the party. What kind of chicken is that by the trailer? Oh, that chicken? That's my new black chicken. Come here, Mishka. <laughs> oh look, my other girls are coming. I got two more on the way. Welcome to the party. It's a flock party. Haha. <laughs> so we have eight, so we're still missing some, but I see them over in the other pasture. Maybe we'll save some for when we go over there. <laughs> All right, you guys, so you're about to see what shark feeding time basically is like because we're going to switch around some of the horses. So. I'm gonna bring and put June in this stall, but she won't stay in this stall, this is Louis' stall, but you'll see how this has to go, because basically, we have to get June in from the back pasture, in and get these three out. And June, when it comes to feeding time, is the shark. You getting a good scratch over there, Cashy? All right. Good girl. She's so bossy. 
Who bosses him around? <laughs> Before Louie and Blaze come in, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up their waters. All right, girl, we're just switching your stall, okay? Just moving stalls. Good girl. I like them to be in the same stalls that they're used to. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab Louie and Blaze. You just holler for him. Blaze went right in his stall like a good boy. He's like, what am I waiting for? Food. Good boy. Louie, go on. Good boy. Back in the tack room, we're grabbing the last three bowls. We've got Louie's, we've got June's, we've got Blaze's. Now let's feed the rest of the horses. Here we go, Junie, you're so impatient. All right, Louie. While they're grazing, we're gonna go around and give everyone hay. Got Mike here with us, so he's gonna help us with the hay. You guys know if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, really don't like to deal with hay because it's itchy. I've said it time and time again, but since he's here, he's gonna do it for us today. So he's just filling up the hay nets. We do about two to two and a half legs. We go basically on like weight and we just put them in their nets. The goats are following you. They call that hay. And we feed our horses and all of the animals on the farm alfalfa hay. The goats keep following him, thinking that the hay that he has in his hand is better than what they're eating. It's all the same thing, you guys. It's all right. So Miss Junie's getting some hay. <laughs> Minnie. What do you guys think? You guys realize that's the same exact hay we put in your stall. <laughs> we put that same exact hay in the... Whoa! What was that, Minnie? Minnie was so excited. <laughs> Minnie, oh, you know what they're looking for? They're looking for their treats. So they want some treats. They love their treats. Hello. They're literally in my tack room. Oh my gosh. Will he find, oh, Willie found the apples. These are my pig's apples. Our goats have really great manners, not. But we like it this way. We like that they act like dogs. It's not for everyone, but it's for us. So this is definitely part of our feeding routine. We just give them some treats. You're in my feed room. And you are too. All right, back to grazing, you guys. So while I was giving the goats their treats, Mike gave Blaze his hay. And now the goats have their fresh hay. Yay. All the horses in the barn have their hay. Now it's time to feed Cash, Sugar, and Dinky their hay. So these alfalfa bales are about 100 pounds, and we go through about a full bale a day and hay. So we feed Cash, Dinky, and Trigger hay like this in the pasture so it's like free choice. We throw like probably close to maybe six flakes of hay out for them in the pasture and Mike throws it far so it doesn't end up on the dirt here where they tread a lot. But this is how we're doing it right now since they don't have their stalls where they can sit in there for a while with the hay because the other horses go in them. So this is what we do in the morning. We'll have June, Blaze, and Louie do the same thing, but in the morning while these horses eat their hay in their stalls when they're turned in in the morning. So they basically have hay 24 seven. Trigger's getting a little frustrated by them. It's all right, Trigger. And this is pretty much it for feeding the horses. Now that all the horses and actually all the barn animals have their grain and their hay, it's time to move on like I was saying, but basically inside the barn, everything is done as far as feeding all of the animals that are in the barn and on this side of the pasture. Going in the same little piggy bin here, we're gonna get some feed for Mr. Pig and Stewie. So they get about, same thing, half of a scoop. 
of feed, just like this. We'll just give them some of their supplement here for their skin and coat. We'll put that in there. Then I'll grab them a couple of pig treats. I just have it in this random jar here, but it's some pig treats. They're blueberry flavored. Put that in there. And then the rest of our cut up apples and we're good to feed the outside pig. Now before we leave the barn, Mike's just gonna grab a big handful of hay because we feed this to the cows at night and in the morning they get this and their grain, they just get a um, producer's pride sweet feed. So we just give them hay at night right now because we have so much grass so they don't need to be eating as much grain technically and we'd rather give them food within um, hey. Hi, Miss Penelope. You'll be fed very soon, don't you worry. Gotta feed your brothers. Hi, girls. So this is our trek over to the other pasture. And Mike will just throw the hay over to the cows. And they love alfalfa. Now going out into the pasture here with the cows. We're going to see our little pigs. The sun is going down, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hi, Stewie. Hi, Mr. Pig. How are you, pigs? We brought you guys some food. So I just feed the pigs on the ground as well and basically like a line because if we've tried to do bowls before and they just fight over it, so this is the best way for them to have their space and eat. There you go, pigs. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but his coat is literally so nice. It's shiny and it's still wiry like a pig, but like, I don't know why. It's so soft and silky for a pig. So we have beat the, let's say, daylight, I guess. We're still out here. The sun is almost down though, but that was good timing for us. The last thing that we basically did was just make sure that all the animals had water in their troughs, so everyone's good now. Now, this is our feeding routine done for the outside animals, and now we're just gonna go inside and finish feeding the inside animals. All right, Miss Penelope, are you ready to eat? So Penelope just eats the same thing as the other pigs, like I said, and this is how much she gets, and I'm just gonna add some apples to hers. Penelope! Guys, can you hear her? Let me know in the comments down below right now if you guys can hear Penelope making noise. Penelope? Food? Do you like your apples, Penelope? While Penelope's eating, we keep the dogs outside so that they don't mess with her, she doesn't mess with them. And we go ahead and start to get the cats ready to eat. So they already have dry food all the time in their bowls and they just eat a Purina cat chow. And then I just give them these. So if you guys can hear the little cats meowing, it's because they're getting really excited for this. All of my cats know the sound of this. And that means that it's time for kittens to eat and you should not be on my counter. Okay. All right, you guys, come on. Good kitties, now we're just missing Stella. So we just feed the cats over here. Good kitties. And now we have all the little kittens. I know you guys have been asking an update on little kittens. Here they are, they're not so little anymore. We have Tiger Lily, Stella, and Pizza. Guys, we actually call Pizza Pete a lot now, so we've been shortened to Pete. But they eat their little wet food and they love it. So as you can see, they already have food and I just put two plates down so that the cats can eat. Mishka and Crazy. There's Bagel, but he's choosing to wait to eat. And the last cat to eat is Domino. He's actually just like hanging out in my room. He loves to hang out in our room during the day. So that's why he's in here and then he just goes out at night and then he'll come back and usually stay most of the day inside the house. So here he is. Eating his wet food. All right, so last but not least is the dogs. Miss Stacy's growling at us. That's just how she's telling us. She's a little hangry. We just feed them the Victor Multi Pro. It's the yellow bag. We've been feeding that for them for many, many years. It's good food for them. So we're gonna go ahead and feed them. 
Daisy we always feed first, because you know, it's Daisy. And she just eats in this slow feeder. Keeps her mind stimulated, and she's also a fast eater. Next up is Lex, because she just can't wait to pool everywhere. And the last two, my slow eaters, Fama and Miley, sit. Good boy. Sit. Good girl. concludes this feeding all of my animals feeding routine it's literally been almost two hours I swear it does not take us this long usually but whenever we film it, it takes a lot longer but collectively it probably takes us close to an hour to feed everybody so we have finally finished it and this is what our routine looks like feeding all of my 40 plus animals so that was a lot of fun, you guys. If you guys liked today's video, if you guys like seeing our updated routine, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below as well what you guys think of these type of videos. If you guys want me to do more videos like this. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, give a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to all right, you guys. We love you, and we'll see you in the next one.